So I'm getting ready for my first day at um, the Hard Rock Convention of AVN, and I just got my um, outfit for Pornhub, and oh my gosh, it's nuts. Okay, so this is what I'm gonna wear today at my booth. Hold on, let me see if I can back up enough so you can see it. Here's this. And I literally just unzipped it so that I could take it off and put on my um, Pornhub outfit so I can see what it looks like. But this is what I'm gonna wear in my booth today. It's bright, it's colorful, it'll really rock. It's got really good cleavage. It looks sexy, ah, it looks sexy. And a pair of heels, so I'm gonna wear this today. Um, but I just got delivered um, the Pornhub outfit and you have got to see it. Like, I looked at it and I was like, is this it? Is it missing part of the outfit? Like, where's the rest of it? Dot, dot, dot. Okay, let me show it to you. Here is the Pornhub outfit. Yes, this is the outfit. I'm not missing any part of the outfit. I know, it's kind of like, um, where's the rest of it that covers the boobs? Although this is pretty epic right there, I'm not gonna lie. It looks pretty hot. Dress back on, I've gotta zip it up in the back, which I think I can do by myself. If I can't, I'll have to call my assistant in here to assist. But she's in her room right now. Ooh, I just did it. Cause I'm good like that. Okay. So blue, blue, looks good. Looks good. I'm wearing silver sparkly heels. Silver sparkly heels. Oh, they're super sparkly. I love them. Super, super sparkly. Oh, they're so beautiful. Okay. <laughs> so here's my outfit for AVN today. And the last thing I have to do, grab a little bag so that I can carry everything. So I have a little bit of a mess in my room, but I got my, I got my Pornhub shirt or one piece, whatever we're gonna call that. So I'm gonna put that in here. That is black, so we want my black heels for that. So I've got my black heels right here. one in and then one has to get you have to put these heels in a bag so that they don't get all scuffed up so if I put one in the bag like that then one in like this then they don't get scuffed up together okay so I've got that and then I'm gonna definitely need I'll just bring my whole makeup kit because I have it already but I really just need gloss probably for the day but you never know, like I can have to blow my nose and then I might need to touch up my nose or something like that. And I'm gonna be on the floor all day. So I have a little travel bag that I'm gonna bring. I already put food downstairs, so I don't need that. I need my badge. So the badge, um, I have two badges. I don't know why, but I do. So I will grab both badges. I don't really need both badges. I really only need one. Where's the other badge? I found my one. Here's badge number one. Oh, here's badge number two. <laughs> so here's my badge. I'm Annabelle Peaks. Are you sitting here? We well, can. Otherwise, you're just this voice soft in the dark. Well, that's usually what it is. A lot, a, lot of, a, lot, a lot of people on Jiggy Jag TV wish I was just like <laughs> off in the distance. <laughs> But uh, let's see, we, we are broadcasting live on Facebook Live. We are on YouTube. Um, normally, we would, I would be on my app and you stream and a whole bunch of other things. Oh, wow. You have places to be, so we, we didn't have time for all that. And then apparently, we're broadcasting on your video blog as well. Uh huh, yes. Today. Yes, so. you will be famous on my video blog. Fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, we're at the Adult Video News Awards and uh, Product Expo. I guess that's the official title. Mm -hmm. um, tell me first of all about your outfit. Um, 
a nice fan bought this off my Amazon wish list. My favorite color is blue because it pops with my pink hair, and I have the coolest sparkly shoes on. Oh my gosh, I sounded like a girl. I'm sorry. I apologize. <laughs> That's fine. I, I absolutely sounded like a, a total girl. You're, you're entitled. I'm entitled to yeah. be a girl because this is a really cute outfit. Okay. So, uh, how did you get into something like this? How do you? Because this looks you like it was painted on. You squirm a little on. like this, and you squirm a little more like this, and it just feels good when you finally get it all on, and it's beautiful. Now, you had uh, makeup this morning. I did. At like, what was it? Eight o'clock. Eight o'clock. Mm -hmm. um, do you do your own makeup, or do you have an assistant, or, do, or is there just one person that does makeup for everybody? Oh, well, okay, so makeup today I did in the Mind Geek room because I'm signing for Pornhub. And okay. so they do makeup for every porn star signing for the entire Mind Geek conglomerate, which is a lot of companies. A lot of people. So I walked in, and I was just expecting one makeup artist and me, and, you know, and they were like, 12 makeup artist stands all set up with makeup and hair and there were like four girls that were already there that just arrived as well and and so by the time I left every chair was full with all these girls getting makeup and hair done so it was pretty wow that's what it was it was like wow <laughs> hi there hi everybody so I knew most of them so it was really cool that um I got to see a lot of people that I already knew when they were getting makeup too so After the whole porn thing porn stuff uh, porn stuff <laughs> <laughs> Foreign stuff. Uh, what do you have coming up as far as new projects? And... Oh boy. Um, well, my biggest thing is that I'm I'm on I have my own website, uh, my webcam every day. I'm on YouTube. I'm on Facebook. I'm on Facebook Live. I'm on freaking every other social media platform I possibly can be. So I try to infiltrate the world, you know, that would be wonderful. Um, and, I, and I'm doing a lot of feature dancing, so I'm really just out there, and I'm trying to be as out there as possible and meet as many fans as I can, because I think that personal touch is just, well, wonderful, I love it, and so I hope they do too. So when you feature dance, do you just do the feature dancing, or do you do um, the one-on-one? -on -one oh, I love the one-on-one. -on -one. dances and... I, I I love to be touched. Like I just. I, I, well, you're in the right business. I'm in the right business. Okay. I love to be touched because I just think it's 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 fun. It's personal. It's it's just a great time. And when oh when are you gonna get the chance to like let a, a porn star like climb on your lap and do all kinds of wonderful naughty things? So yes, I absolutely love doing the the private dances and stuff like that when I when I dance and I love on stage I don't even touch the pole. Like I literally spin around at one time and then I'm like who can I crawl on first? And it's just. It's fun. <laughs> Can I crawl? Uh, and I crawl around, and I crawl on top of them, and, and I and I and I fish dollar bills out of pants and shirts and funny places with my teeth, and it's just a lot. It's a lot of fun. Have you ever done the wheel? I see the wheel in these different strip clubs where the What's chicks the get wheel? up on the wheel. Oh no! See, I don't do. On the wheel. I don't do any acrobatics. I don't do any madness and stuff like that. I literally just love being right. I love interacting with a person. Because it makes me happy when you see somebody smile because you just did something that really made them happy and then their friends are like, whoa, dude, did you see that? You know, like that's what they're doing to each other. That makes me happy. So then I want to do it more. So I know, yeah. So uh, the website, what yeah. do you have on the website for people to purchase? And oh, yeah. You have this, this Snapchat <laughs> thing, which I think is genius. I have a whole store on my website um, where you can buy anything I have. Well, I got like crazy amounts of merchandise at this point. I have t-shirts and calendars and prints and, and DVDs. And I have Snapchat. I sell my phone number. I sell Skype time. I sell, oh, I sell my phone. I sell Fantastic. breakfast dates. I sell dinner oh, dates. Oh, that, that I think is amazing. <laughs> How many how many breakfast dates do you have here in, in, in Vegas? I don't I mean, have I any you breakfast have a, dates. You have a dinner I have date. one dinner date, and I had a breakfast date when I was in Exotica, New Jersey, and a dinner date at Exotica, New Jersey. And so it's it's fun. It's for those fans that want more time with you than like at the expo. There could be a line, and so you get your forty seconds of oh my gosh, I'm a big fan. I love your work. Can I get a picture? And that's what you get. Yeah, that's yeah and I mean I mean that's, and hard. you want to have more time than that, but there's so many people. So they're like they want to know more about you, or they want to sit down with you, or they want to feel like they can connect with you. Um, that's what the one-on-one -on -one dinner date is for. And if you can afford it, because it's kind of pricey, <laughs> then you can have it. So you got a big, you got a big NFL Peaks fan to be looking yeah. for the uh, the dinner date. Yeah. <laughs> now, uh, say. 
give us your social media and where we can find you and okay. all that fun stuff. Um, Twitter and Instagram, I'm at Annabelle Peaks XX. And I'm on Facebook at the Annabelle Peaks XX. I have my own YouTube um, page, and it's now officially youtube.com forward slash C forward slash Annabelle Peaks XX. So uh -huh. I guess once you hit You went like, in and did the whole. No, it's like once you hit so many followers, they have to approve it. But now I actually oh, really? have a name on the YouTube site. So I was pretty impressed. I was like, look at that, look at that. That's, you know, they like me enough to, you know. Anyway. <laughs> I have Tumblr, I've got my YouTube vlog, I've got Facebook, I've got every place I can be, so. Okay, uh, two things which, which, unless people watch your video blogs, they have no proof. But um, my, my thing is, what, what is going on with the, uh, the Lexus? I know that oh. you dented it in the snow. Yes, yes, it was dented in the snow. Okay, so where I live in the Midwest, in the Southern Midwest, you very rarely get a lot of snow. So if you get some snow, it like shuts down the world. And I live on top of a mountain. It's, it's a hill, but it's a mountain. It's called a mountain. And um, I tried to go down the hill and I was going really slow, like three miles an hour, trying to go down the hill and you hit a slick spot. And the hill has those little windy um, switchbacks. And so I literally just couldn't turn, couldn't turn, couldn't turn, and ran right into the, at the bottom of the hill, somebody's house, and they had a rock and a little fence and everything. Did about $6,000 worth of damage on my Lexus. So it's in the shop, being repaired as we speak, and it should be done at the end of the week. So when I get home from AVN, it should be all perfectly new. So thank God for full coverage, um, Geico, you know. There you go. I just plugged guy there. There you go. <laughs> oh, Maybe you can get a sponsor. Uh, yeah, come on. Sponsor <laughs> come on. <laughs> can I be the next flow? Come on, I'd be a really good flow. <laughs> <laughs> I I think there would be a lot of people that would really look at you than flow. Um, I guess before we let you go, for the people that are watching us on Facebook Live. Mm -hmm. uh, Tell us your convention times and where you're going to be. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Okay. Well, I was aware fine. that I might have to look this up to be careful. Yeah, that's okay. fine. I am signing all week for my own booth, and that's an artist hall at booth 1100. And I'm signing from 12 to 1 and from 3 to 5 at my booth. And then I'll have an assistant and other girls to sign the, for their products when I'm not there. Um, but then I'll be signing at Pornhub from 1 to 3 and 5 to 8. So I literally awesome. won't sit down today. And I'm, you might catch me eating a Lenny and Larry's protein cookie. Did I tell you about those last night? You I told you. Told, I, you told I, us I might, about those I might last be night slightly night. obsessed with their protein cookies. They're amazing. Maybe and they'll sponsor I know. You. I, I should. I, I, I say it all the time. We ought to add that to the tags really, on the video. I, yeah, apparently. I'm, <laughs> I write this stuff down. Wait, who do I want to be sponsored by in 2017? So there you go. There you go. Uh, <laughs> I'm on my date tonight. I am at the Monte Carlo Casino um, and Hotel, and it's a pretty cool place actually because there's a lot of people here. And I'm at the Brandon Steakhouse Restaurant with my date. He, uh, his name is, is that okay? Stacy. His name is Stacy, and he won the date raffle off of my website. So I figured we would just sit and enjoy ourselves tonight. Actually, we already did because we had we had dinner. Dinner was good. Company was great. Uh, we have a lot of good things to talk about. We do. I love how I, I, I love being open. I tell people all the time, I'm like, um, if you don't want, if you need me to like PG myself, you need to tell me because I just, I say what's on my mind, I do what I do for a living. So like, you can just say what you want to say and, and then they'll be judged or not for it. But I just have a good time. And so I love that because it just means I can have, I can yeah. have a good time. So. A good conversation, steak, and I had lemon meringue. That might have been my favorite part was that little bit of sweet to go at the end of the dinner. That was quite nice. So, a long, fun day. That was really good. And then you're going to play poker tonight or you're going to go to sleep tonight? No, there's no work. The, the last tourney that they got here is at 7. Oh, okay, so. okay. I will, I will go to sleep, I'll rest up, and decide whether I'm playing here in the morning or over in the Aria tomorrow That's morning. That's right. Probably the Aria. Probably the Aria. I, mean, I might do both. That's right, because, well, and they probably stagger them on purpose so people could do it yeah. all day long if yes. they wanted to kind of thing. Yeah. Man, they got that figured out, so, yeah, they got that figured out. And me, okay, so the hard
Hard Rock Hotel where I'm staying, they do not have bathtubs in their room. So they what? don't have the bath and shower combo type thing. They only have showers. And huh. I've been in their suites. I've been in their standard room. My, my assistant has a room. She doesn't have a bath, which sucks. Because do you know what I want to do right now? I want to so the hottest soaking bath water I want a bath ever. Bath. I was like, God, I will volunteer, <laughs> let me tell you. I walked right into that, actually. Yes, you did. did. You totally I? did. <laughs> I was like, but that was the one downside of the Hard Rock Hotel. I was like, can I, maybe I need to request a room with a bathtub. Maybe they have like a few of them. Maybe. And but, Jacuzzis. Yeah, yeah, maybe. Hey, can I get that room? Yeah, that sounds really nice. <laughs> and then I was like, there's there's probably a hot tub that's probably outside and it's okay. cold. It's I don't want to do that. So so it's it's probably gonna be it's probably gonna be a wash, but but I was like, no that's what you need. <laughs> You're right, no fun. That was awesome. I also walked into that one. I suck at this. <laughs> so so yes, it'll probably be a wash and I won't get any, I won't get the bath or anything, but, but a, a bed might be just fine. I bet you if I like lay myself, as soon as I hit the bed, I'll be like, what bath? I don't even need that. I'll be like, <laughs> I got one of those. Yeah, a bed. Huh. I would not be any fun right now. I would totally like lay down and be like, <laughs> and then be like, hopefully, hopefully, I, that's exactly what happens when I get back. Hopefully I exactly conk out within two minutes of hitting the bed. Although wait, I'm supposed to YouTube vlog when I, okay, don't lay on the bed to vlog no. on YouTube. No. There you go. Because then it will not happen. It'll be like, okay, I'll do it in five minutes. Then, no. Yeah, okay. So I will have to sit on a chair, or maybe I can vlog, no, I was going to say I could vlog in the Uber on the way back, but I can't because it's dark. That's no fun. I could, I could vlog when I walked into the hotel, and then everybody would be staring at me as I hold the camera. But everybody's staring everybody at me anyway. anyway. So, well, and everybody does selfie sticks and that's whatnot true, that's anyway. True. So, and then I, then I could capture the moment of, oh my gosh, Anna, you know, because I'll get a couple of those on my way through. So, so that might actually be fun. And then I'm walking, I'm, I'm doing, I'm being efficient because I am vlogging my the rest of my night and walking to my hotel room. So hopefully when I hit the hotel room, I'm like, okay, goodbye guys, and crash. Right. <laughs> it's all about efficiency at this point. <laughs> Trying to get as the last as little bit much in. Done as possible. <laughs> you get me. I do. Get I me. do. You get me. <laughs> Just a really nice, oh, nice yeah, thing. Came down just oh. 
Undivided attention to tell you a recap of today, and then I am going to put my head on this pillow and fall asleep. <laughs> it is almost midnight. I've been up since 5 a.m. or 5:45 a.m. so I could get up and go work out. I have been on my feet all day. Um, I have a scratchy throat from talking so much, and um, I'm just exhausted. I have to get up tomorrow at 5.45 again, um, work out again, and start a whole nother day of this. So it's so important that I get five hours of sleep. <laughs> so I'm kicking off my shoes and just thinking about the day. So this morning, you saw the first part of the blog to, vlog today, and I was trying on my outfit for today. I did a blue dress um, for my booth and I did the Pornhub outfit for the Pornhub booth. Um, and then I did an interview before I went to the convention floor and I did record that interview so that you could watch it and I'm, hopefully I got some of it on today's YouTube vlog. And then I was at convention all day. It was just a whirlwind of fans and people. It was so crazy and so good. And then after that was over at 8 p.m., I came up to my room, had about 30 minutes to soak my feet in some hot water because my feet hurt so bad. And then I met my fan date um, at the Monte Carlo Steak Restaurant. So I Ubered there and then Ubered back. And my fan date was just a wonderful man named Stacy. And he was a gentleman. We had steak, we had um, wine, we had dessert. It was just a really wonderful dinner. And it was great, we just got along so well and we'd tell you know, about stories of life and then he'd ask a lot of questions about porn and the industry and you know, behind the scenes stuff and, and tattoos and everything like that. It was just a really great time. So I just got back from the date and it is so happening downstairs. Like there are hundreds of people in the casino and all I want to do is go to sleep because I'm exhausted and all I want to do is go downstairs and have drinks with people and be fun and social and take pictures and just be fun but it, I just know that I have three more days of this and I just got to take care of me so it was an awesome convention today I'm so thrilled I just feel super happy that I'm here and it is absolute pleasure to see all the all the men and women that come out and the fans and that I'm just so thankful for the support so I'm gonna go to sleep now and I'm gonna dream fast sleep hard and um, wake up and do it all over again tomorrow you guys are really awesome Thanks for spending a day with me in this crazy life I live. I absolutely love it. This was day one at AVN. <laughs>